We're now turning our attention to Diary for Timothy, which was made in 1944 for the Crown Film Unit. And in this particular instance, the situation is very different to what it was, I think, in the GPO Film Unit for Nightmail, because there is no doubt that Humphrey Jennings was a man with a mind of his own, a very interesting and wide-ranging mind, um, and that he had found in the war uh, an ability to encapsulate something which uh, might be called capturing the spirit of Britain um, for that generation and uh, I think also for generations to come. Uh, Diary of Timothy, the format is that this boy is born in 1944, uh, his father is, it transpires, a clergyman who is away in the army as an army chaplain, uh, and we never actually see anything other than the photograph on the wall of his father, although he is he figures quite ex extensively in the film. But it was a film that used a great many talents uh, uh, over and above those of Humphrey Jennings. Uh, the uh, narration is written by E.M. Forster and delivered by Michael Redgrave, uh, both of whom I think one might regard as being uh, outstanding in their own fields. Uh, but there's no doubt about it that this can be identified very much as Jennings' work because it does uh, tie in with his other films, uh, it would seem that uh, he really believed that the essence of Britain was encapsulated in John Gielgud playing Hamlet uh, and Myra Hess giving her lunchtime recitals in the, uh, the National Gallery, uh, because those figure both in, uh, in this film and in uh, Words for Battle, uh, and, and listen to Britain. Um, he was uh, a man with, with his a mind ranging way beyond the cinema or cinema, theatre, music. Uh, he wanted to knit together the uh, social and uh, political and the artistic into one uh, complete cycle, uh, which I think he never actually achieved, but it, it, that was the idea in the back of his mind, and it's perhaps significant that the final film that he, he died while, uh, just before it finished shooting, uh, Family Portrait, uh, was his contribution to the Festival of Britain, that he wanted to show uh, the, the life of the British nation as one complete family operation. How far this works, I don't know, but in the uh, sequences that he knits together in the diary for Timothy, uh, they do work, I think, uh, magnificently both as uh, an aspiration for what Britain was to be like after the war, uh, as well as a picture of a country which had been at war for five years um, and, and was definitely fraying at the edges.